Step 1. Make sure you have downloaded the newest version of the MetaQuest app from your mobile app store of choice. You probably did this to set up your Quest 3, but I just wanted to make sure. Along with that, make sure to have your phone's Bluetooth turned on and connected to the same Wi-Fi that your headset is connected to. Now, inside your Quest 3, let's set up your camera settings. To do this, hit the camera icon in the bottom menu bar, then the cog wheel and you will see a menu to choose sync media to the Quest app automatically. For me personally, I leave that unchecked because I only want to sync certain videos to my phone and not everything. Below that, the important settings are image stabilization. The higher the setting, you're gonna get those black boxes come in and a smaller field of view. The aspect ratio in case you want to go square, standard YouTube widescreen, or vertical TikTok. Then frame rate, and honestly the most important one to me is the bit rate which determines the quality of your footage. But remember, higher bit rate equals larger file sizes. Now that you have solidified your settings, you can start up your game of choice and while playing, hit the Oculus button on your controller that will bring up this menu and then choose the camera icon to begin recording your gameplay. Once you've decided to finish recording, tap the Oculus button on your controller again to bring up that menu and click on the red camera icon to stop recording. You can now go back to playing or hit the camera icon on your main menu bar to bring up your recently recorded footage, then click the dotted menu on your video and choose sync. Depending on the length of your video, it will take a little time to sync, but you will get a notification and the menu will then refresh showing that the video is synced and active in the MetaQuest mobile app for the next 28 days. After those 28 days, you will have to resync it again from this menu. Now to download the video to our phone, go to the MetaQuest app, choose that gallery button at the bottom menu, and you'll see your gameplay video. Tap it, and then you'll have options to download the clip to your phone, edit, which honestly is a little janky, or share the video to whatever app you choose. What isn't janky, on the other hand, is this video sponsor, VRWave. VR Wave's tailor-made prescription lenses for the Quest 2, Valve Index, and now the MetaQuest 3 not only protect the built-in lenses on your headset from scratches, but they correct for near and far-sightedness along with astigmatism. So you don't have to mess around with fitting your glasses into your headset. For those of you, like me, who don't need glasses, they also have blue light filter and anti-glare options to reduce eye strain during those long VR sessions. Grab your lenses at vr-wave.store by filling out the online form with your prescription and you can get them shipped anywhere worldwide. And hey, while you're at it, check out their other Quest accessories such as their carrying cases, halo straps, and face covers. You can find a link to their store below. Thanks again, VR Wave. I will say, if you have a longer video, sometimes the app just won't let you download or even open the video and you get this no Wi-Fi connection icon. If you are running into this issue, check out this video to learn how to download your Quest 3 videos from your headset to your computer. Thanks again for watching, I'll catch you in the next quickie.